Lima's socks. Yeah, Yankee Mike, Yankee Mike, Tanga Charlie, 25 priority message. We are Broad Street in the city centre with a vehicle failing to stop. It's Kilo Yankee, 16, Juliet, Juliet Lima. Still medium risk wire as he performs an undertake. And we are 70 in a 30. Confirm the pursuit is authorised, please, Wyman. Oh my god, oh my god. Found the police, found the police, found the police. Where? Oh my god. Ambo and fire, please. The vehicles that uh, rolled. Fly the car, not the helicopter. Get ahead of him. If you can stay on this side if you're more comfortable, that's fine. Eastbound, eastbound 60 freeway coming up to, uh, it's going to be the 605 in a couple miles. This is going to be. Making that wide sweeping left turn. He's going to be eastbound. I believe this is Montebello. Montebello Boulevard. You see that white vehicle being chased by the police department. This all started in Azusa PD. Under us at 9 o'clock, David. Just hold your position here. He's going to go under us. He's going to come out your side right now. I got, uh, I got a ship over here at my side. You got him? So we got people in the back seat, people, uh, well, the driver in the front seat, the window's down. This is the first we've seen the window's down. So three, three in the vehicle. And it might be the fact that they're just running out of gas or maybe they're just playing with the officers here. 
but you know this pursuit's been going on for a while. Maybe they're just running out of gas. Oh, here's the pit. There's the pit. That's going to end it. So they gave him a chance to pull over. He could have, like you said, and now they're going to have him at gunpoint. We're going to come out to a wider shot and show you the scene here with the all the units in place. West Covina also on the right-hand side there, that WC, that's a West Covina unit. Azusa PD with Clearwood Drive, again, just on the Gulf Freeway, heading north into the downtown Houston area. They're, he's crossing, uh, excuse me, the driver crossing Almeda Genoa right now. Uh, as this pursuit continues, it started a, a good 30 minutes or so ago. You can see another HPD vehicle there toward the bottom of your screen, a patrol unit, a car has also joined in on this pursuit as they're keeping their distance from that. Uh, these slows, the traffic come to, uh, come to a not quite a complete stop, ah. but, but for things to slow down. Well, he's experiencing yeah. that right now and now trying to weave his way and maneuver in and out of the traffic that has slowed down near the downtown Houston area because Christine he's getting pretty close to the downtown area right now. Well yeah and as you can see obviously traffic building he whoever was driving we don't know if it's a man or a woman but the, the driver was kind of flying down the road for the past 30 minutes and now for the first time is really hitting more congested traffic as he as this person this driver now reaches the downtown area and is becoming a little little sketchier in and out of these cars because cars are having to slam on their brakes this, as this, uh, this driver tries to flee from HPD. And you made a really good there. So the truck has exited the freeway in the south side of Houston. You just saw that HPD SUV trying to pull up alongside the truck in the left lane, uh, perhaps to possibly use a pit maneuver. Oh, there we go. To get the truck to pull over to safely get him off the road, him or her off the road. And you just saw him tap yep. there, tap the. This has been going on for a half hour or so and still really no, a little slowing down, but that's just to weave in and out of traffic. And really there doesn't seem to be any end in sight at this point. And our producer Cynthia just telling me in my ear that the driver is now on a service road there. So the truck has exited the freeway in the south side of Houston. You just saw that HPD SUV trying to pull up alongside the truck in the left lane, uh, perhaps to possibly use a pit maneuver. Oh, there we go. To get the truck to pull over to safely get him off the road, him or her off the road. And you just saw him tap yep. there, tap the back rear, the back of the vehicle, the back of the truck. On the now, left side, yeah. On the left side. Now it looks like the truck may be getting back on the freeway. It's pretty difficult to Ooh. tell. But now he's maneuvering, he or she is maneuvering in and out of uh, traffic there right now. And now totally boxed totally in. Totally boxed in there. Yeah, we'll have to see. So this is the first chance that HPD really has had to, to get to this driver. As you just mentioned, that pit maneuver, you can see the officer is getting out of the vehicle right now. And we're not seeing any movement inside of the truck. The officer has his weapon drawn. He's keeping a safe distance opened up. Hands are drawn. We're told there's a w female passenger is what we're being told. The, uh, the driver, both of his hands up. Officers are instructing him to get down on the ground with his hands behind his back. He appears to be complying with orders. Everyone else that was driving. So the male driver, the female driver being taken into custody without incident. Thank goodness uh, no officers were hurt or any of the other drivers on the road were hurt because we saw at times uh, this truck, this guy, he was just zigzagging, weaving in and out of traffic with no disregard for anybody else on the road. Yeah.